Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to December 1983, Muscle Mag International. How does Al Beckles train his super back and his massive chest? Let's find out. I've been t uh, training now for about uh, 32, 33 years, and um, I hope I can continue training for another 32, 33. Uh, and uh, how old are you then? When I started training, I was 27. So um, that brings me close to da 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 da. <laughs> no, it's not a secret now, I'm 58. You must be one of the bodybuilders that has been competing most. Um, I think I am the only bodybuilder that has competed for uh, the amount of time I have done, yes. I've been competing for, uh, without getting my figures precise, I would say an average of 20, 24 years, something like that. But isn't this, this a hard job for a man who is 58 years old? Oh, no, no. Um, you know, <clears throat> lots of people, when they see um, uh, bodybuilders or go to a gymnasium or keep fit place, they think, oh, that weight's too heavy, oh, I can't do that. But this is done according to your, uh, your limit, you know. You don't have to say, well, you don't have to walk into the gym and expect to uh, lift up 200 pounds. You know, if you're capable of five pounds, that's what you start with. So by using this, kind of weight, it means that you get the enjoyment from it rather than the um, strenuous or hard side of it. So then you get to enjoy it, you get to like it, and obviously you get a little stronger, so you, you know, your weight goes up, you start feeling better, and so on and so forth. So it's not really hard, it's enjoyable. Do you think this is a healthy sport? Is it a sport you would like to recommend to young people? Well, yes, um, I don't think it's something that I have to recommend, really just little me. Uh, it is something that speaks for itself. You know, uh, you look around at people that are interested in sport or people that do bodybuilding and you can see they look healthy, they feel healthy and they're strong. What, does, what, what more can one ask for? Can you, can you show me your arm? Can you show me your right arm? Oh, right. Show it into the camera. How many years do you have to train to get that kind of biceps? Um, you have to train for 32 years? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I, I would say an average of, uh, to reach world class, I would say four or five years. But um, when you're dealing with uh, professional or competitive uh, type of physique, then it's not necessarily how big your arms are, how big your chest are. Everything has to coordinate. It has to be symmetrical. You know, um, normally off season, I add maybe not as much as two and a half inches more to my arms, but they don't, they're not as sharp as they are now, you know, they're just big. But I've seen guys training for 10 years, they don't have that kind of arm, you have a good genetics too, haven't you? <laughs> um, not, not only genetic, uh, I, I think it, it, it goes a lot further than just genetics, it's knowing what to do, when to do it and how to do it. You know, you just don't walk into the gym and pick up a bar and say, well, I'm going to do a few curls and my arms are going to get big. You know? Do you still train every day? Yeah, I train every day. I train like two times a day, every day, seven days a week. Um, I could do this because by living in um, California where the weather is a little bit better than here and um, the pace is a little bit faster also. So, um, you know, this enabled me to be able to do that. I can train in the mornings and then uh, relax and do all my little jobs that I have to do and then I sort of ready I can turn again in the afternoon okay we wish you best of luck the next 32 years out thank you
Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dreams.